3A sectional 18. A lot of local teams in this one. Garrett at Whitco, Concordia at Jimtown, Tippecanoe Valley at West Noble, Lakeland at Heritage. A lot of really good records when you come into this. Yeah. Garrett at Whitco, you would assume the Railroad has taken, although Whitco did upset they, your North Miami folk not that not that long they ago. They did, and they knocked out Valley too, if, I if I'm correct on that. I believe they did. And the game will be at Ryan Huff Memorial Field. That's a tough place to play. Concordia at Jimtown in the second round. Jimtown comes in number one in the state in 3A. Uh, yeah. They used to be a 2A as Lures knows all about. That was always the battle, but now they're in 3A and they haven't missed a beat. No, they haven't. And Concordia, boy, they're really going to struggle. They're going to have to try to score some points against Jimtown, and I just don't know if they can against that defense. Uh, David Morrison's done a really nice job of, of growing this season as it's progressed, but uh, I think Concordia has their hands full this week. Tippy Valley, as I mentioned, at West Noble. Tippy Valley, not a team we, we cover on a weekly basis or a daily basis. They're 7-2. and two. They're a tough football team. Yeah, but they did lose to North Miami, so you know, the Warriors have them on that. But Score compare. Yeah, there you go. But no, Valley likes to run the ball. They do a nice job of that. They don't turn the ball over. And so with, they'll take care of West Noble pretty easily. And I don't think Valley is capable of beating Heritage. I think they, I watched Lakeland play last week at Cherubusco. Mm -hmm. I think Valley could hang with uh, Lakeland, but Lakeland's not going to beat Heritage. Heritage is really, really good. I was going to say, mean, yeah. We saw what they did to Garrett last week. Heritage, it, I mean, we're going to have a, a rematch of Heritage and Garrett again. And hopefully, Hopefully Garrett shows up this time. And how do you see, well, so you see Garrett getting past Jimtown then? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, they won't get past Jimtown. I stand corrected. It'll be Jimtown and Heritage, which will be a really good game. But in the Lakeland Heritage game, you're talking about in, in this week's 3A poll, the number nine and number 10 teams. So, you know, two top 10 teams in the first round. What's going to be the key? I know Heritage is rolling. They put up 50 plus against Garrett this past week to earn a share of the championship. But Lakeland comes in with a pretty good offense too. They do, but they don't play the schedule that Heritage plays. And so that's really affected. Them. Lakeland, if you look at their schedule, they have blown everybody out. The first time they got punched in the mouth by Cherubusco, they wilted. And Cherubusco's defense was phenomenal last week. In fact, I can't wait to talk about the Cherubusco Oak Hill matchup. But uh, um, Lakeland just, they're not in Heritage's. Uh, level as far as ability. Uh, Heritage really has been impressive this year. Veteran team, a lot of seniors, and they can run, they, uh, they can pass some. I mean, Heritage is just better than Lakeland. All right, 3A sectional 19, the only local team in it is Belmont. They're taking on your Yorktown Tigers in the first round. Of the eight teams in the sectional, only two have a winning record. Belmont, four and five, but they were three and six heading to the playoffs last year, ripped off three straight and won a sectional title. Larry Getz saves his best for the last. They're also one of the smallest teams in the NHC, which has a lot to do with it. Right. Uh, what do you see against the Tigers? Uh, this is not Yorktown Green, by the way. I think it is. Uh, I, I, as a Muncie Burris guy, no. it would pain me if it was Yorktown <laughs> Green. It's Notre Dame Green. But what do you see as uh, being the big key against Belmont? for You Yorktown? know, I'm going to go back to the Fort Wayne area teams are generally better when they play teams from outside the area. And, you know, look, Larry Getz, I love you, Larry. I do love you. I've loved you from, from your days at Wayne, but I got to stick with my alma mater. I hope they win, but I don't think they will. Uh, Belmont's a really good team. Uh, they, they run the ball well. Larry Getz is a veteran coach, and Yorktown simply does not play the caliber of teams that Belmont does up in this area. And so I would be very surprised if Yorktown wins. Hope they do, but I think Belmont uh, can very easily advance to face a really good program in Eastbrook. Eastbrook's good every single year. Mm -hmm. So I would look for Belmont and Eastbrook to match up in that second round uh, after the first round win over Yorktown. Yeah, Eastbrook's tough. Ask Harding a couple years ago with Rod Smith. They went down there. You thought they'd roll them, but Eastbrook, no, Eastbrook on and a Oak wet Hill. night took care. Care of and we'll get to Oak Hill, but Eastbrook and Oak Hill, really good programs. 